Hello, Rob Candley here. And as promised, we're just about to measure the volume of this magnificent pitcher, Nepenthes Raja. Fantastic specimen. It's actually the biggest one we've ever grown, uh, though there might be bigger ones in habitat. But this really is, uh, is quite a monster itself. Little old now, but let's see what it holds. Here we are. This is the picture we're about to attempt to measure the volume of. And first things first, we'll take the fluid out so we can replace it later. And hopefully the picture won't notice. So can you come closer, please, Paul? Thank you. Trying to tilt it without damaging the stem. There we go. So that's the natural digestive juices of the pitcher and any prey. Quite interesting, actually, to see what's in there. Not a lot. We can show that to the camera. Got a few flies opportunistically caught. Maybe there's a spider here. But no, uh, no obvious shrew droppings or rat droppings. So the shrew droppings are what would uh, sustain it in its natural habitat on Mount Kinabalu, but unfortunately we don't have that particular shrew here. But never mind, it's a digestive fluid. It's got the right pH, the right enzymes. And we'll put that back in the pitcher afterwards so that the pitcher can continue doing what it does. Well, in testing this just now, we discovered it's got a, it's got a tear in the top of the pitcher. So we're going to give it a band-aid so not too much water comes out. We, we pour the water in. There we go. There's a sticking plaster for it to make it feel better. There we go. That'll just slow down the water loss from the hold. It won't stop it, but that should help a bit. Okay, so to measure the volume of this pitcher, we're going to use this measuring cylinder. And this is a 500 milliliter measuring cylinder. And it says here, I think you can say maybe see plus or minus five milliliters. So that's within 1%. And it's currently filled to the 500 milliliter mark, the bottom of the meniscus. So here we go. This is the first one. There we go, that disappeared nicely. And as accurate we can be. Tables are reasonably horizontal. That's that's good. That's 500 milliliters to the bottom of the meniscus. Okay. Let's pop that one in. As I mentioned earlier, we have a tear in the front of the pitcher, which you've literally put a sticking plaster on. Okay, that's one liter. And we'll do another... 500. See, it's a little bit dripping out. There's another tiny hole in the pitcher, but that's, uh, that's not very significant. Okay. That's 500 milliliters to the bottom of the meniscus. And here we go. Let's see how much of this it will take to reach the brim. Nearly there. See how steady Bala's hands are. Okay, that's it. Tilt it back slightly, Bala. That's well, not that much, slightly. Okay. All right, that'll do. That that's full to the brim. And I look at that. Practically empty. So, so there we go. Um, very, very little bit left in the measuring cylinder. So it's very slightly less than 1.5 litres.